Tua Tungavailoa said of his rookie year at the Miami Dolphins that, I felt prepared, he said. I felt like I was ready to get in the game, and I believe our coaches felt the same way. This past season, it didn't go the way I expected it to go. It was a good experience. It was a good first year under my belt. I'm just working hard this offseason to achieve what I expected to achieve last year. An extraordinary energy of a sublime quarterback. But what will Tua Tungavailoa in 2021 look like? The press is doing its thing, it's gossiping about unclean things, not the essence of the problem. One wrong move by Brian Flores. Contract all NFL waste this season. A bad backup QB in a pathetic WR will fail Tungavailoa in 2021. Is Brian Flores on the wrong path? Even though he's committed to building around Tua, is what he's doing really building? Or is he destroying Tua in 2021? Wrong choices, in insufficient qualifications and quality around Tua, so how do Dolphins win? How can fast forward be played in a Super Bowl 2022 match? Or is it giving him a chance, let him go to the Tampa Bay or Kansas for his ambitions? Let's take a look at each of the details in the video below. Take a look and feel the quality of the targets the Dolphins are aiming for, are there proper satellites around the tentacle? Remember to subscribe to the channel. The Miami Dolphins head into free agency looking to add playmakers at running back and wide receiver with secondary needs at center, linebacker, edge rusher and backup quarterback. It won't be like 2020 free agency when the Dolphins led the NFL in guaranteed money spent, which coach Brian Flores alluded to when he said, I'm going to be playing the song, you can't always get what you want, on day one in free agency, to be honest with you, because we may get priced out on some guys we're looking at that we'd like to have. Miami might avoid market setting deals but don't let that lull you into believing this will be a quiet period. This team believes it is ready to win and it should sign multiple starters this week. And, Brian Flores, excited, to see Tua Tungavailoa heading into year two, dismisses Deshaun Watson trade rumors. At the end of the 2020 offseason, optimism was beaming out of South Florida after the Dolphins were able to select quarterback Tua Tungavailoa with the number five pick at the draft. Fast forward a year later and some folks may be throwing the word, cautious, in front of that optimistic view of their young signal caller. There's also even a select bunch that's ready to slap the bust tag on Tungavailoa following a so-so rookie campaign. With Tungavailoa not coming out gangbusters and flashing his potential like his classmates Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert did last season, the argument has been made for Miami to possibly explore trading him. When you pair Tungavailoa alongside the number 3 overall pick in the 2021 draft, that's the type of package that could potentially land you either Deshaun Watson or Russell Wilson, who are two quarterbacks that seem to be looking for a trade out of their current clubs. Despite all that chatter from various talking heads, that initial optimism surrounding Tungavailoa appears to be holding true within the Dolphins organization. While speaking to reporters on Thursday, head coach Brian Flores noted he's looking forward to seeing what steps his young quarterback will make heading into year two. I'm excited about Tua in this upcoming season, said Flores, via the South Florida Sun Sentinel. You think about his situation last year coming off the hip, kind of threw him in the fire, but he started nine games. I thought he made a lot of improvement really throughout the course of the season. Had some ups, had some downs, like all the rookies and like any rookie. But I'm really excited about that year one to year two jump, being more comfortable even down here in South Florida. The 23-year-old started the year as QB2 behind veteran Ryan Fitzpatrick as he continued to recover from a gruesome injury he suffered during his collegiate days at Alabama. However, he eventually took the starting reins beginning, beginning in Week 7. Tungavailoa started nine games throughout the year and owned a 6-3 record over that stretch, but at times it felt like the offense was better performing under the stewardship of Fitzpatrick. That led to a bullpen-type approach by Flores toward the latter half of the year where Fitzpatrick was sometimes thrust into action to try and clinch a win for Miami. While that proved to be successful at times throughout the year, it also didn't boost the confidence surrounding what Tungavailoa may ultimately become, which has only stoked the flames on potentially moving on after just one season. Still, it doesn't appear like Flores will be entertaining any quarterback talk outside of Tungavailoa. He was directly asked about the Deshaun Watson rumors and dismissed them out of hand. My reaction is, I'm excited to work with Tua. That's where my interests are. 
That's where my excitement is, Flores said when asked about a potential pursuit of Watson. So, I think he's again like I said I think he's a talent. We here believe in developing players at all positions. I think with an offseason, with some offseason training activities, with more reps, more repetitions like any player, they develop and get and get better. And I think he feels the same way. Over his rookie season, Tunga Vailoa completed 64.1% of his passes for 1,814 yards, 11 touchdowns and 5 picks. Miami Dolphins is buying more weapons for Tua. First, Miami Dolphins changing Tua Tunga Vailoa's backup. The Miami Dolphins have found a backup for quarterback Tua Tunga Vailoa after losing Ryan Fitzpatrick in free agency. After the NFL's 2021 business year starts at 3 p.m. Central Daylight Saving Time Wednesday, the Dolphins will sign quarterback Jacoby Brissett, ESPN and NFL Network reported. Tunga Vailoa joined Miami as the fifth player picked in the 2020 NFL Draft. The former Alabama All-American All took over for Fitzpatrick as the Dolphins' starting quarterback in the seventh game, although Fitzpatrick got another start when a thumb injury sidelined Tunga Vailoa and came on in relief of the rookie in two games. Fitzpatrick is joining the Washington football team for his 17th NFL season after agreeing to move on for a one-year, $10 million contract as a free agent. Brissett is joining Miami for a one-year contract that includes $5 million in guaranteed money and another $2.5 million in incentives, ESPN reported. Brissett comes to Miami after backing up Philip Rivers with the Indianapolis Colts in 2020. Brissett completed two of eight passes for 17 yards with no touchdowns and no interceptions and ran 17 times for 19 yards and three touchdowns. Brissett entered the NFL as a third-round draft choice of the New England Patriots in 2016, and he started two games as a rookie while Tom Brady was serving an NFL suspension. With Andrew Luck out with an injury, Indianapolis acquired Brissett to be their starting quarterback in 2017. When Luck abruptly retired during the 2019 preseason, Brissett again served a season as the Colts' starting signal. Brissett has played in 49 regular season games with 32 starts. He has completed 586 of 983 passes for 6,459 yards with 31 touchdowns and 13 interceptions and run for 583 yards and 12 touchdowns and 159 carries. Brissett is a native of West Palm Beach, Florida, and led Dwyer High School to the 2011 state championship in Class 5A. The school is about an hour's drive north of the Dolphins' Hard Rock Stadium. Reunite. Miami Dolphins shouldn't sign former Alabama W.R., teammate of Tua Tungavailoa. Tua Tungavailoa will have the opportunity to throw to, at least, one of his former Alabama teammates this season. On Wednesday, it was announced that the Miami Dolphins have signed former Crimson Tide wide receiver Robert Foster. Foster is entering his fourth season in the NFL. He went undrafted in 2018 but landed with the Buffaloes. After two seasons with Bills, he signed with the Green Bay Packers practice squad in September 2020 and then to the Washington active roster on October 22. He played in four games for Washington. Foster's most productive season was his rookie year in Buffalo when he caught 27 passes for 541 yards and three touchdowns. For his career, Foster has caught 32 passes for 642 yards. We'll see in April if the Dolphins add another familiar target for Tunga Vailoa in the NFL draft. So, what do you think about these players? Comment below.